But my pimples are just so shiny. I'm so proud of them. Hey guys, what's up? It's Christina here. So today I have for you guys this video on this everyday fall inspired makeup tutorial. I basically did this look inspired by the fall time slash for every day because it is fall time. Duh. And because this is actually what I wear sometimes to class. I have a different college makeup routine that I will be doing for you guys, but for right now, here is the fall version of my everyday makeup routine. I do actually do a lot of makeup every day basically now, which it's really weird. I used to never do that. But if you guys don't like this much makeup, you do not have to um, do this look like this. You can definitely alter it the way you want to. Don't forget to stay updated with me by subscribing to my channel and putting on your notifications to be notified whenever I upload a video. I upload every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, so that's really cool, and I have been doing that consistently. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media, because I love talking to you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Enjoy this one. First off, what I'm going to do is apply this Skin Berry Lip Fix onto my lips because my lips are super, super dry and I really need to, I really need to moisturize them. So I'm going to be using two primers today. Um, I like to use the Fenty Beauty one, but also the um, Too Faced Hangover one. The Fenty one is really good too. It's just like, this one packs an extra punch. The Fenty one helps to create like one full complete surface and even texture for your skin. This one leaves your skin pretty tacky, um, but also moisturized. I can't explain it. So I'm a college student and for me, um, I basically give myself enough time to do all of this makeup. Um, not a lot of people do that, but I like to look presentable, especially in front of my professors. You could, I mean, have lazy days like I do. I have, I wear leggings and a sweatshirt, but like looking really bad is just not a good idea because you want to create a great impression. There are people who will eventually be giving you um, referrals for jobs or hiring you even. They may also be giving recommendations for you, so you want to keep that in mind when you do um, go to class. So now I'm applying the Fenty Beauty foundation. My shade is 220. A lot of you guys were saying that it was very white and pasty on my skin in the video. Um, it really kind of oxidized a little bit. Um, it wasn't that pale, and as you can see, it, it, it goes really well with my skin. So. so I'm going to be blending this in with my Beauty Blender. I like so. I hate how foundation gets in my hair because my hair is so dark. Then again, I'm going gray, so I don't think it'll be a problem. This foundation is super amazing, and I heard it took her like two years. Rihanna to um, figure out the perfect formula she wanted, which I really appreciate, like taking your time to really perfect a product rather than like just slapping your celebrity name on it. One thing I really don't like about the school year is that I have to um, share a bathroom with like 10 other girls in like a communal bathroom. I know it could be worse, but like it's actually really annoying because like the other week the shower was literally clogged. It was actually, it was clogged so bad that like you would take a shower and like the water would fill up and then I'd be standing in like the water that I was showering. It was so gross. Yeah, I gotta abort this mission. I'm taking the excess and just dotting it on this side of my face because I have so much acne scarring over here. It really sucks. Now I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Tattoo Concealer in the shade Neutral M21. And I'm just, I'm not a fan. I also put it on my eyelids to act as a primer. You don't really need a primer to be honest. I never really use my MAC Paint Pots anymore, but um, concealer does the trick just as well. And I used to never bake, like this was not a thing I did. Apply that under my eyes. Then I'm gonna be taking this L'Oreal uh, Pro Matte Powder and applying that all over my eyelids to just set the concealer. So of course I'm going to be using my Jaclyn Hill palette. It's amazing colors, especially for the fall time. So I will be taking this shade right here. I don't have the names of them. They're like all mine and they're not on the palette. And this palette also doesn't have a mirror, which really stinks. Um, I'm going to be using this light brown shade. I'm going to be using that to act as my transition shade. And I'm just going to be lightly dusting that into the crease. I'm going to be taking this yellow shade here which is like my favorite shade in this palette that I use like actually every single day so I'm going to be taking that on the outer part of my eye to warm it up and you can see it instantly does the trick the, these all these eyeshadows are super blendable I just wish that it had like a simple matte 
plain like nude color like a light light like a lighter color than my skin tone just to help in setting the base but it's whatever now i'm going to be taking this um darker brown shade in the same palette which is right next to this nice auburn one packing that onto my brush tapping off the excess and applying that um a little further down um on my eyelid rather than above where my transition shade is so we're just gonna start at the bottom outer corner of our eye and just keep on blending in circular motions just in that concentrated area You want to gradually build up um, for this look because it is an everyday look and you don't want to look too dramatic. I mean, it depends on what look you're going for, but as for that, that just added a little bit more depth and dimension for this eye look. And I'm just building it up gradually, not taking too much. And then bringing it into the crease. I recently bought the Jeffree Star Unicorn Blood um, liquid lipstick, which I'm super excited to try out because I have never tried any of the Jeffree Star lipsticks and I just really am just so excited because I know he's a very controversial person, but I just, everyone raves about them and they say how great the quality is and Unicorn Blood, I don't know if you guys have seen it or own it, it is super super dark vampy red that I have to do for a fall look so that's also part of why I got it this is like a dark cranberry shade and we're gonna be um, building that up onto the outer corner like so I like these eyeshadows cuz they're foolproof super foolproof. I'm going to take this coppery shade on my finger it's super pigmented I'm applying this on the second half of my eyelid almost over that darker plum shade that we applied. So I'm just applying this on the last half, not going too high. Blending that out. Now for the inner lid shade, I'm taking this one right here. It's like this pale nude shimmer. And once again with my finger, applying that on the inner corner, inner part of my eye. Ooh, 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 ooh. This palette gets me way too excited. Always blend. When in doubt, just blend it out. I don't know who says that, but it's a very neat trick. Now I'm going to be taking this brush and dusting off the excess under my eyes. And then I'm going to be setting the rest of my face with this shade right here. Well, with this powder right here. It's all I use all over my face. It's amazing and it just makes your makeup last all day, which I really love. But as you can see, the foundation really does go with my skin tone, um, which is what I really like. I guess maybe it was also the lighting as well that maybe made me look super, super pasty in that video. Not too sure. So for my lower lash line, I'm going to be taking a mixture of this color right here and this one right here to just build up that lower lash line okay. and take that cranberry shade and lightly apply that to the lower lash line and then we're going to be taking our shimmery color and blasting that inner inner corner guys do you think Kylie Jenner is actually pregnant because I have no clue I really feel like she's not but it's confirmed by a source, which we don't know the source, so it has to be true. <laughs> so now I'm taking this fluffy brush and my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade, guess, give me sun, <laughs> and warming up my cheeks. I don't really contour um, like I used to. I really just like to warm up the face and also define as well, so this is a really great shade for me. I also like to hit up the temples of my forehead to make it look smaller just because my forehead's a little bigger than I want it to be. And then I also contour my nose, so I use this um, brush right here that we use for our brow bone and I like to go along the sides 
to just make it look slimmer. I will blend it out more, but this is basically what I do. Just because I really hate my stupid nose. And instantly I have a slimmer nose, which is really great. My friend actually got her nose job when she was 16 and she ended up having to get two nose jobs, which is really crazy. Okay. For my eyeliner, I'm taking this Sephora one. This does not get any credit. This is the Colorful Eyeliner Waterproof. It's not waterproof, um, but it does stay pretty well on the eyes. It is just like this. I think it was just 10 bucks, and has this type of brush. So I'm going to show you guys how I do my eyeliner every day. I literally don't do too much. I just like to wing it out a bit. Oh, unevenly like so and connect it and that is how you do your eyeliner it's super simple super easy sometimes I mess up it's not this easy all the time just saying so I'm taking this Morphe M509 brush and I'm going into this MAC highlighter this is the whisper of guilt one they discontinued this one but you can use uh, what I use is the Becca shimmering skin perfecter and champagne pop um, but I love this golden glow that it gives it's so beautiful, and I'm so upset that it's limited edition. It's very upsetting. Like, I can't get enough of it. So I actually did forget that I didn't apply a blush, so I'm just going to be doing that right now. But I did apply some fake eyelashes. Um, these are from uh, Pinky Rose, I think it's called, in Sacramento, California. I don't really know what style they are, but if I find out, I will put it down below because you guys were asking in my last video. This is Tiger Lily by... Becca, and just blush it up. Now this one has a little bit of a shimmer in it, not too much, but it looks really good and it especially complements the eyeshadow, so that's what I really like. It's good for summer and fall, I feel, because it is that orangey, orangey shade, so. And what's really cool is that it doesn't come up too, too crazy pigmented, but it is still pigmented and it's there. I don't know if you guys can see, but my pimples are just so shiny, I'm so proud of them. So I'm taking my Makeup Forever Excessive Lash Mascara and applying that on my lower lashes. This is like the only mascara that like elongates my lashes enough. Um, so that's what I really appreciate about that because I don't really have two great lashes, great of, a, of lashes naturally. So these are really good. Now onto the lips. I like to use this NYX Natural um, 810 Lip Liner Pencil. This is really good. They're, the formula is very similar to MAC. I like to overdraw my lips because... I'm taking this Too Faced Melted Latex Liquefied High Shine Lipstick in the shade Hopeless Romantic. It's my absolute favorite um, liquid lipstick ever. It's not really too fall, it's more neutral like every day, um, which is why I like to wear it. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media and subscribe. Turn on those notifications to stay updated for when I upload my videos. I upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So I've been doing that consistently, which is really cool. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends if you want. If you like the fall. I don't really know. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!